What's up guys welcome back to a brand new video by MRH channel and the competition among Snapdragon 855 devices is getting tough every day and alongside that Xiaomi has just released its Redmi K20 Pro which is internationally known as Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro. I have already made two videos on Snapdragon 855 devices which were from OnePlus and Asus and I decided to make no more videos on Snapdragon 855 devices then but then I realized that this device also deserves one video so that's why I am making this video so without any further ado let's move and check out its box contents. Inside the box we can see a same ejector tool, a warranty card, the device itself, a USB type C charging cable and a 27 volts fast charging brick. Alright guys this device comes in three different colors which are carver black, flame red and glacier blue. All these three colors give this device a very premium look in hands and moving towards the display on this phone we get a 6.3 inches super amoled crisp display with a corning gorilla glass 5 on the front like all the other flagship devices this device also comes with a triple camera setup on the back and a motorized pop-up camera with these awesome looking leds having a 48 megapixel wide camera module and a 8 megapixel telephoto module and of course a 13 megapixel ultra wide module the motorized pop-up camera is only 20 megapixels considering the internal storage of this device we get up to 256 gbs of rom and 8 gbs of ram which is common among all the snapdragon 855 devices just like the oneplus 7 pro this device also has an in-display fingerprint sensor which is as fast as the oneplus 7 pro's in-display fingerprint sensor as we know all the flagship devices are killing the 3.5 millimeter audio jack but this device still has one this device ships with a snapdragon 855 processor a octa-core cpu and arduino 640 gpu so this combination of its processor and its super amoled display will give us a very smooth gaming experience without the device heating itself up and without any kind of lags. The device being a flagship killer still don't have some of the features which are this phone does not include any kind of stereo speakers. Of course it has some speakers but they are not stereo speakers. It does not have a wireless charging support and it does not have any IP rating certification. Having no IP certification means that this device is not officially water resistant. The Xiaomi K20 Pro comes with a 4000 mAh battery which can support 27 volts quick charge feature. The part of the video you have watched till now was the first part of the video in which I have done a very quick review of the device itself but in the second part I will be comparing this device with other flagships so if you want to watch that part keep watching it. 